Where's James? Hello, mate. <laughs> We're gonna put down the underfloor heating or to be more specific, the under tile heating because this is not to heat the room, it's to warm the tiles up. Don't use electric underfloor heating as your main source of heating because it's very expensive to run and it really doesn't work to that extent. It's great for warming the tiles up, it's great for taking the chill off a bathroom and if you put it on a timer, bring it on for a couple of hours in the morning, a couple of hours in the evening if you need it, it's absolutely perfect. So you can get it as a mat and you lay it all down as a mat and then you tile on top of it. But I actually prefer this system where you put it into the grooves in a decoupling membrane. Now the idea of the decoupling membrane is to alleviate the stresses that you get. This is a timber floor and so you can imagine there might be some very slight movement there. We don't want that transferring into the tiles because it can crack the tiles. Now with modern flexible adhesives you've got a little bit of leeway with that because that does allow it to a certain extent but the decoupling layer is by far and away the best way to do it. It's got a fleece on the back there which allows a certain amount of movement to take place and then we stick that down and that just allows that floor and that tile to move differentially. As it says, uncoupling or decoupling is the name of the game. Invented by the Romans, very clever system. They used it 2000 years ago and that's the reason why you still see some wonderful mosaic floors, Roman mosaic floors, because that system has been working for them and any ground movement that's taken place has been absolutely separated from the tiles. So I thoroughly recommend it. I would just mention that James has given this floor a coating of SBR, which is a primer that we use before we use the tile adhesive. Absolutely great product and uh, oh, of course it's waterproof as well, which helps. Now we've got the uncoupling membrane down, we can put the under tile heating in. Now this is an electric system. You've probably seen a lot of these which are on mats where you stick the mats to the floor and mess around with bits of gaffer tape, keeping them down. I much prefer this, not only because we get the uncoupling layer down, which is good for tiling onto, but also because you just press this in to the grooves and it really makes the job a lot nicer to do. And because it's recessed into the uncoupling membrane, there's a lot less chance of you catching the edge of it with a trowel. So I've done the test already. We know that it's good. It's tested at the factory. So really speaking, there shouldn't be anything to go wrong with it. It's not damaged in transit, but just as a precaution, you should carry out a test before you cover it up, even before you start laying it in the grooves actually. I, I, what I've done is I've allowed that to be slightly smaller than the actual thing because it's wall hung. So if they're feet going yeah, like this. They're, they're, they're not going to go. Yeah. That's fine. That's, that's fine. Like that. So what would you rather I went? There or there? Yeah, that first one. First one, okay. So James has marked out where the basin is going, where the unit is going. We don't want to go no. under the basin, we don't want to go under the WC and we don't want to go under the bath. So that kind of takes care of quite a lot of the square meterage of this room really. My return run, it's 
just wait. Just wait till we install. Sorry. It's all right. So here I've changed the way I've been running rather than going up and down. I've just done this little bit as a snake here. And the reason is because if I go up there, I go down there, I need to go back up there and then I can't leave it far enough away to get my return run. In other words, it's coming closer than the minimum of 75 millimeters. These cables should never be closer than 75 millimeters. So sometimes you just need to work that out so that you don't trap yourself in that situation of having two cables running too close together. The other thing that you've got to be careful of is that you don't cross the cables over at any point, but all these things you can work out. Where's the edge of the bar? There. Yep. So we've got the heating element down and I've got to confess that actually when we put it down, first of all, we ended up with a bit too much. So we've rerun some of it. It was actually a piece of cake to rerun it. And what we've done is we've gone underneath the unit and underneath the WC. Because they are wall hung, they're not actually on the floor, we could do that and that meant we got rid of that extra bit that we needed to get rid of. At one point we thought we might have to go under the bath to get rid of it, but we haven't had to. We've uh, got it just about right. But what I would say to you is when you're ordering it, be very, very careful about how much you order because you can't cut the excess off the end. It's terminated on that end. So a bit of careful measuring and probably sometimes a little bit less than more. So if you're stuck between the two, go for a little bit less rather than finish up with a, a, a big excess. So now we're ready to put down some self-leveling screen. Now you don't have to do this. You could actually go over with tile adhesive, but if you do that, you're using a notch trowel, there's always a chance that you're gonna hit that cable and you're gonna do some damage. So it's nice to put down that self-leveling screed. So the self-leveling screed that we're using is from Dunlop. I picked this up from Selco. It's good for all kinds of surfaces. So you can use it on floorboards. It's got fiber reinforcement in it. So you can use it on floorboards. You can use it on tanner cement. You can use it on anhydrate screed for the right primer. And uh, yeah, so even on top of ceramic tile. So use it from anything from three millimeters to 60 millimeters. We're just gonna encapsulate this heating element in it and that would be ready for the tiler to go straight over the top then. So it means we can walk on this surface without risk of damaging that cable. It's always a good idea to get the water content right. 4.2 liters for the bag. And I find that a cup full of water either way makes a huge difference. So I always measure it out as carefully as possible. Alright, here's a two minute tip for you. When you're mixing up your Dunlop self leveling screen, you mix it, leave it for two minutes. Is that a two minute tip? It, well, it's two minutes and 30 seconds actually, because then you mix it again, then you're ready to go. <laughs> 